If you've been having random computer lockups or your computer's freezing and you have to turn it off and then manually turn it back on with the power button to get it to work, hopefully this video will help you. Um, f for too long than I'd like to admit, my computer's been randomly freezing, so it might be uh, happen once a day or it might happen uh, two or three times a week. Uh, it's that random. So when it would happen, uh, the first thing you do is look in the event log to see if there's an event, something that happened that caused it. But in the event log, all it would say is unexpected reboot. And then you could also look in the debug files, but it wasn't even writing debug files. So there was really no way to troubleshoot it. Um, I tried updating all the drivers. Um, I tried turning off all the power saver. Uh, power saving settings um, tried to run RAM test to see if maybe there was a faulty piece of RAM and um, I've tried all these different things uh, and continue was plagued with this issue and what would happen is um, it would get a blue screen uh, a lot of times you see a blue screen it'd go about 80% of the screen it'd just be blue and then the computer would just freeze and there wouldn't be any error message or anything um, and there was nothing you could do. Uh, you couldn't do control delete, you couldn't do anything. You just had to turn it off and then with the power button and then turn it back on. So after a lot of trial and error, I believe this uh, fixed it finally. I mean, it hasn't happened in a very long time. So it would have already happened, I believe. Um, so here's what you can do. Uh, if you click, if you're in Windows 10, go to the search bar down there and just search for advanced system settings or advanced system and it should bring up the system properties box. And once that comes up, if you click the advanced tab and once you click the advanced tab, click on settings and that'll bring up another window and click on advanced again. And then right here, you're going to have virtual memory. Click the change button and if you look at the local C drive here, it's 465 gigs of data and it has 102 gigs free. So the C drive uses the page file. This is where the page file is. So once your memory starts filling up, um, it'll start using the page file as like virtual memory, um, which that could fill up over time too. And depending on what you're running, a lot of times I have a lot of big applications. I do game development, so I have the Unreal Engine that takes up a lot of memory. Sometimes I'll have Chrome open with 30 tabs. So that actually takes up a lot of memory too. Um, so I believe what ha was happening was the page file was growing and growing and you, you won't see it on here because it's hidden, but it, I, I would believe it was growing and then Windows didn't have time to create an event log and it didn't have time to write a dump file. So it would just freeze up. And if you look right here underneath the memory, so first let's take a look at the virtual memory that we were talking about. So that, that was the C drive that we were just looking at. And right now you can see there's no page file because I've removed the page file from there. What you can do is click on, on the C drive and you can uh, put no page file. Uh, and then you'll have to reboot once you set this to, for it to take effect. And then what I did is I got my old SSD drive. The, this is the newer chip um, SSD drive, which is super fast. So what I did is I went and got the old SS 500 gig SSD drive, which is pretty fast too, and hooked that back up to the SATI slot. And then uh, at that point, just set it to custom. You can set it to system manage and let it manage it. Um, I just put it on custom and put um, 450 gigs. So it has as much memory that it should uh, that it should ever need uh, for that swap file. Here's what here's what will actually happen to applications that use the RAM file. So if you open up the task manager and then you click on performance tab and then you click on memory. If you look down here, you can see exactly what's going on with that page file. So it's committed. What it's saying is it has 471 gig of a page file that it can use. Right now it's using 14 gigs of that. Depending on what applications you're using, this can start growing pretty heavily. So that's 14 gigs. It can go up to, it can go all the way up to here. And like, let's say you have applications running um, 
and then that application is using a lot of memory if you go to if you go to the task manager you can actually you can look in here and see it start to grow this number start to grow as that page file starts to grow and once it gets up to this number to 471 then windows will automatically shut down whatever program it is it won't give you um, any kind of warning or anything it'll just immediately uh, shut down that program um, but if that happens you can see in the event log that it'll tell you that it it used up all the memory and that's the reason it closed it since making this change like i said i've had no more freezes and no more reboots and the computer seems faster say if you've been battling with your computer freezing and you had to hard boot it then give this a try if you have an extra drive laying around you can uh, hook it up go to your c drive put the paging file to none and then on that extra drive format it and then give it all the space that you can and uh, you should hopefully that'll fix it for you too all right well thanks for watching uh, the video if you have any questions feel free to ask and i'd be more than glad to uh, help all right take care be safe thanks for listening we hope you enjoyed the show 